Hi everyone. I wanted to uh, give you a quick update. Today is Friday. It's your first quiz. Um, just a quick reminder to um, all you have to do with your quiz is to click on the quiz and then uh, put in the percentage of reading that you completed by midnight tonight. Um, so finish that before midnight and then um, write a reading reflection of about two to three hundred words. And it usually takes 10 to 15 minutes or something like that. You don't have to be grammatically perfect on these reading reflections. They're like a journal, um, but it's more helpful if you write as well as you can in those uh, as people will be reading them and responding to them. And again, remember, this is not a summary of the content of the book. This is actually um, your reflections, what impacted you, what you're thinking about, um, some of the things that are um, that you have questions about, those kinds of things. So more like a journal, less a summary of the content. I can um, read these and, and figure out kind of uh, where things are hitting home and uh, maybe where some of the gaps are, and then I'll be able to, as I read them, um, maybe adjust some of my lectures along the way uh, to fill in some of those gaps. So that's the idea. Give it a try again. I uh, Like I said before, the first couple of weeks are usually there's some technical problems, um, and so if it doesn't quite work, just drop me an email um, or a text, and you know we'll figure it out. So don't stress about it too much, um, but just give it a try, and, and you'll get the rhythm of the class. Um, a couple of quick things that you need to know, especially for next week. So I will be leaving for Ghana um, for a week. And I will uh, hopefully have a couple of lectures that I'll post and make available for next week. Um, but then you just want to continue on your reading rhythm. I've kind of planned it this way. The course, like I said before, is heavy in content and theory on the front end and then more heavy in practice and practical application on the back end of the class. So um, I, wanted, I kind of planned it that way. I knew I'd be out of town. So... Uh, next week is pretty much just a reading week for you all um, to get caught up, to get the content of the Just Peacemaking book. And um, for those of you that were not able to get the original Just Peacemaking textbook, hopefully you're able to get the Interfaith uh, Peacemaking textbook. And I will, um, you can just use that. And you will see as you post in your forums next week, um, the difference, a little bit of the differences um, and, but primarily the difference is the interfaith peacemaking has Jewish and Muslim perspectives. And um, that is true in the Just Peacemaking book, but just not side by side. And so um, so that will be the textbook. And uh, the core thing, again, is to just get the practic practices, the 10 practices of peacemaking down. Uh, let's see, any other things that you need to know for uh, in order to have a successful week? I think just, again, keep up with the pace of your reading. I will be available uh, not as much by text while I'm in Ghana, but I'll be available by email, and I'll probably check those emails uh, in the morning and in the evening, which will be flipped. I think we're 8 to 10 hours ahead um, in Africa where I'll be, and so morning and evening will probably be flipped, but I'll try to get back to you within 12 hours um, if you drop me an email. So. Yeah, those are the things that you need to know, again, for the um, to have a successful week number three. Um, what I'll do now is I'll begin to post a few lectures um, on some of the content for this course and also some of the assumptions that we're working with um, with this biblical and practical peacemaking course um, from the Introduction to Christian Ethics class. So I'll post an Introduction to Christian Ethics lecture. It'll be, usually my lectures are about five to 10 minutes. It's a little easier electronically. It's also easier attention span wise. And then also uh, the, when the weeks are heavy on reading, I don't want to burden you too much with a lot of reading and a lot of lectures. And so, um, you know, listen to them at your leisure next week. And, but there will be some important content there uh, for you all. So, yeah, um, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or text me. Okay? Thanks for a great, successful first two weeks.